tough outing today by your beloved Sox, only mustering up three hits from the offense and starter Chase Wright getting chased early, allowing four runs off the three errors. By the seventh inning stretch, the only thing that was on the up were the beer sales. Now it didn't go as planned this year, but I think we got a bright future ahead of us. Thank you for tuning in. We wish you a happy off season, and we'll see you down in Florida for spring training. Buddy, you up? No? Okay. Love you, birthday boy. Is that you? Happy birthday! Dad, I missed <laughs> you so much, I thought you would make it. Oh, come on. Don't be silly. Hmm? How could I forget you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little late. Whoa, wait. Did you get taller? Three inches. <laughs> That's a nice haircut. Did you get me anything? Are you kidding? Turn around. Yes, what is it? <laughs> we'll open it and find out. All right, slow it down, son. Your mother may want to use that paper again for Christmas. <laughs> <gasps> this is the one I wanted. Good gift? The best. Uh, be sure to tell your mother that. Thanks, Dad. I'm glad you like it. Hey, why aren't you at work? Isn't the game on right now? No, we had an afternoon game. So I decided to stop by after I finished the post-game recap. Did we win? Yep. Martinez had a walkout. Do you meet any of the players? Meet them. I'm on a first-name basis. That's so cool. <laughs> Being an announcer has its perks. I want to do that. You know, someday I think you will. You really think so? I know so. <laughs> um, it's time for you to get to bed. I think you have school tomorrow, huh? Let's get you tucked in. Hey, Dad. Yeah, champ. Could we play catch tomorrow? No. No, I can't, bud. Got a road trip with the team tomorrow, and I got a got a plane to catch in an hour. Oh. No, oh, I'm sorry, sport. When will I hear from you again? Well, I'm... you know that reminds me, I got something for you. For me? Yes, for you. I'm gonna go get it. radio so every night around this time you'll tune in to 96.3 on that station we cover every single game so it'll never change and if you listen in I'll give you a secret message okay okay wait dad how will I know you're my son, Alex. You'll know. Okay? Lights out. Here? No, it depends. Is Jennifer Lawrence here? No, she's not. Then no, he's not. Alright. 
Come on, Alex, get up. No, I don't want to. Alex, we have a meet and greet in one hour. And until you're done writing the next lights out, Alex, Mama's gotta get her 15% somehow. Now up. Come on. Fine. There you go. I'm hungry. That's for breakfast. No time. We have to get there. Well, that's a shame. I was gonna write this morning. Yeah, funny. Get dressed and meet me there. I have to be there early. Make sure everything's set up. Okay. Don't be late. Grab me some food, will you? Is, is that a yes? Hey, man. Joe. Thanks, Joe. Hi. Hi. Um, what's your name? It's Sherry. Sherry. Sherry, that's a beautiful name. Thank you. Yeah, I really loved your book. That's uh, really nice of you to say. I can't wait until you finish the next one. <laughs> Me neither. Well, this isn't going so bad. Better than your new book. Wow, you really know how to pick my spirits up. How's it going? Oh, it's going well. Yeah, the words, they just come to me. And the story, it just flies off the page with vibrant colors, like, like a Shenandoah sunset in the summertime. So, haven't written anything? No, nothing. What's taking so long? I don't know, Michelle. I can't just wake up every day and do it. I have to be in the right mindset to get my work done. And if I'm not motivated, then it won't be good. And you want it to be good, don't you? At this point, I'll take anything. Oh, I'm sure you would. Got bills to pay. Hey, Thomas called, by the way. My brother? No, different Thomas. Well, what did he say? I said to give him a call. And what did you say? That you'd give him a call. Well, did he say anything else? No. Nope. Then why did he call you? Because he couldn't get a hold of you. Well, he could have just texted me. He said he did. You can go see him after this is done and you can eat there. Wait, you didn't grab me food? What do you want from me? Well, food. Go see your brother and Alex. Try to write. Only for you. Welcome to the Godfather. Would you be interested in our lunch special today, the horse head ogie? It's only eleven ninety-nine. Uh, sure. That sounds appetizing. Thank you. The change today will be at ninety-five cents, and your order will be out shortly. Thanks. Hey, is Thomas here? Tommaso. Yeah, one sec. Yeah, well, that's not what you said last night. Alex. Alex, my friend, how are you doing? Why are you talking like that? Why am I talking like what, huh? Hey, come here. Hey, uh, Vincenzo, this is my buddy Alex. Yeah, we grew up together. We go, uh, way back. Yeah, like brothers. Yeah. So what? You come here for some, what, real Italian cuisine made by yours truly, huh? Authentic. Yeah. Well, you come to the right place, my friend. Hey, uh, two waters, Vinny. Ah, uh, grazie, Vincenzo. Thank you, Vinny. So, uh, Alex, uh, what I was thinking was... Oh, it can stop. Can I... Can I stop what? Talking like that. Stop talking like what? Not stupid fake accent. Fake accent? I'm not talking in no fake accent. Thomas, you were born in Clark County, Virginia. The closest thing to Italian there is a neighborhood Italian kitchen, and they were run by Greeks. Could you maybe keep your voice down, please? <laughs> voice down? Mm -mm. My country tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Could you maybe stop that? No, not till you sing along. Land where my fathers died. 
Land of the Pilgrim's Pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. Thanks for that so much. Yeah, these two more. Schmuck. Ah. All right, so with that, uh, Alex, how are you doing living on your own? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing okay. Yeah, uh, solitude is nice. I'm really enjoying the new chapter in life, so to speak. I do miss Karen, of course, but uh, I guess it just wasn't in the cards. Right. Well, you know, I love you, Alex. But um, the reason why I called you today was because actually we have a problem. Yeah, we do. Thomas, this sandwich is bone dry. No. Uh, can we get serious for and, a uh, second? Could use a little extra sauce. Dude, it's there. Dad. What's wrong with him? Well, he has multiple sclerosis, Alex. Yeah, Thomas, I know that. But what did he do? All right, so his broadcasting buddy went to see him today, and uh, they found him lying on the living room rug. Oh, my God. Yeah, don't worry, he's fine. What happened? Is he really going that quickly? Well, I don't know, because I wasn't there. But, uh, Alex, I don't think Dad can live on his own anymore. What can we do? Right. Well, I know this isn't going to be well liked, but I took the liberty of looking into some nursing homes. Or nursing homes. Thomas, how old do you think Dad is? Right, look. Well, it's not like you can take care of him because what you just started your new chapter in life or whatever. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you can't live with Mom again. No. She wouldn't take him in, not after all that. No. And you know, you can't live with me, obviously. Well, yeah. But why is that, Thomas? Well, because him and Charlotte don't get along. Nobody gets along with Charlotte. I'm so I thought you liked Charlotte. No. She makes everything uncomfortable. Oh, really? Yeah, how so? Oh, well, well, to sum it up, Charlotte is like a sneeze. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know it's coming, and yeah. you try to... You try to stop it, but babe, it's loud and all over the place. Well, great. Thank you so much for that. I guess it's decided. Uh, Evergreen Estates. Uh, we live to serve the lift. It says that. Yeah. Well, it might as well. Fine. Take him. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah, he can stay in my guest bedroom. Alex, you are a good man. You know that? Hey, wait. That should be the title of your next book. What? I know. I wrote it myself. Hi! Hey, we finally made it! Dad! Welcome to your new home. Uh, you look good. Don't lie to me, I do not look good. I spent Wednesday on the living room floor with my ass in the air. I still got carpet burn on my face. Yeah, that gives you an idea of what the ride over here was like. Well, Dad, uh, I stocked the fridge with your favorite drink, Bud Light. And uh, we've got plenty of spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, secret recipe. Oh, joy. Oh, I also uh, rented the new Tarantino movie for later. Well, stop it with the welcome to the palace speech. We all know why I'm here. I can't be left alone for two minutes without falling down on the ground. So I'm stuck with Alex. Isn't that right? Uh, no. Actually, you're here. Dad. Come on. I want you here. It'll give us a chance to bond together again. Oh. Well, that implies that we bonded once before. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to take your bags to your room and let you two discuss living arrangements. You know, I think that wife of his is driving him psychotic. <sighs> Dad, let me get you a drink. What do you think I've done with the place? It took me forever to get the room the way I wanted it, but... 
think it turned out quite nicely. Nothing fits. Yeah, it's very bohemian. Whatever blows your hair back. Oh, uh, well, Dad, uh, the local high school field's just down the street. We can catch a game if you want. Oh, jeez. I've only been born and raised here, and I never even knew. A uh, package for Clarence Clearwater. Ah, oh, there you are. Here, bring it over here. What? Uh, where would you like me to put it? Yeah, point it towards the TV. Uh, can you move that chair? Yeah, I got you one. Wait, Thomas. Dad, I just don't think it fits. I know. It's very bohemian. Yeah, uh, I gotta go, because if I'm late to dinner with Charlotte one more time, I'll be sleeping with the fish. Oh, shoot. Uh, Dad, did you tell him about Finn? Finn? So long. Dad, Finn? What, he's my best friend. I don't like him. Oh, really? He speaks very highly of you, though. Fix me a drink, will ya? It creeps me out, the way he stares at me. Grow up! Dad, no. No, he, I'm sorry, but he can't be here. Hey, Thomas, I'm so sorry I'm late. Right when I was about to leave, Dad reset the Wi-Fi. Oh. And my power. I don't know what to do. I, the past few days have been a living hell. I, when I'm there, I feel like my space is being violated. And when I'm not, I'm worried Dad's gonna burn the house down. I, look at me, I, I, I'm a nervous wreck. Okay, okay, look at me. Now tell me what happened. I just, I feel like I don't have my life anymore. I had to cancel tea time Thursday. Friday, it was the concert. Do you still have those tickets for the hockey game on Saturday? Yeah. Here you go. Listen, Thomas. You don't think that you and Charlotte might be able to take Well, me? it's funny you should mention that, actually, because Charlotte and I talked, and we think it would be a good idea to help out a little more. So you'll take him in? <laughs> No, of course not. We'll help pay for a caretaker. What do you mean? A caretaker. Someone to help take care of dad while you're out doing your things. That sounds like a great idea. All right, so it's settled. Uh, we'll call the agency tomorrow and we'll set up a meeting at your place. Thomas, I can't thank you enough. Uh, wait, actually, do you still have those gala tickets for Sunday? That's you, my friend. Way to ruin the mood, Thomas. Way to ruin the mood. I do a good job. I wash, I clean, and I might well behave. Well, I come from a small town, population about 300, and... Yeah, I once did some time in juvie. Mahershala Ali's butt double was a big responsibility. Don't you worry. I'll make sure he behaves. <laughs> well, okay. Well, we, we have your resume, so I'm sure we'll get back to you shortly. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, one more thing. I... Uh, what's that? I handle with care. <laughs> okay. I like that one. Absolutely not. Well, we've got one more. And I pray that she is somewhat sane. There she is. Oh, Joy. Hi. Hello. Are you Jade? I am. Well, 
Come on in. Thank you. And who might this be? That is Finn. Mm. Oh, what a beautiful chair. You like it? I love it. It really ties the whole room together. <clears throat> so Jade, what have you been up to recently? Wait, you sound familiar. I do. Yes. You worked in radio. Whoa. And you, you writer? Oh, that's amazing. How did you know that? I know his book. You do? Well, did you like it? Not exactly. I did Google search on the both of you when I got your ad. So, Jade, uh, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, I'm originally from Russia, but we had to move around a lot. Hmm. Was your father in the military? No. He was wanted fugitive of government. They caught him at the border. Uh, did you hear that, Dad? She's sitting right across from me. Of course I can hear her. I'm not hard of hearing. I've only been in America about a year. Three months the first time, this time the rest, but I have been in healthcare for quite some time, as you can see on my resume. I see. Uh, so Jade, some of the duties around here would include uh, cooking, cleaning... Uh, don't possibly. worry. I know how to do all of those things. I once cooked a pot of beans over a fire in a dark cave while sewing one of my daddy's bullet wounds shut. Well, thank you for coming in, Jade. Uh, I'm sure you'll hear from us soon. Why wait? You're hired. Excellent! Uh, Dad, don't you think we should discuss this? Oh, you know what? Um, you should. I'll get going. Let me uh, grab a business card from my car, just in case you change your mind. Dad, what are you doing? What? You told me to pick somebody, so I did. She's insane. I don't like her. Listen to you. She's, she's going to be here when you're gone all day. Fine. If it's what you want. Well, Jade, you got the job. Excellent. I'll start moving my things in tomorrow? Move in? I'm sorry, this isn't a live-in position. Oh. But the ad from the agency I'm sorry, the ad must have been wrong. Uh... Now, wait a second. Alex, let's talk about this. Dad, there isn't anything to discuss. I think I'll step out now. Thank you. It's probably a good idea. Let me know if anything changes. I will. I I'm sorry again for the misunderstanding. Dad, I'm not having another person living in this house. Why is that? We don't have room for her. She can stay in the room next to mine. My office? You want me to give up the place that I work? You can work wherever. Just change where you do it. No, Dad. I've had enough change. I moved to start a new life. I bought a new house in a different neighborhood. I am a newly single man, and now I'm living with my father and his fish. That's enough change, thank you. And I don't need someone who I've never met before today living with me. The whole point of this was to solve my problems, not add to oh, them. Oh, so I'm a problem now, huh? No, Dad, that's no. not what I meant. Well, you're not the only one who had to change, you know. Just a year ago, I was in the booth doing what I love. Till some young executive came along and thought I couldn't cut it. Next thing I know, I'm exchanging my headset for a TV remote. I had plans too there, Alexander, and this may come as a shock to you, but living with you wasn't one of them. Dad, I have done nothing but try to do the right thing here. Let's not forget I did it. I was there for you. I took you in. Where were you, huh? What are you talking about? Where were you when I needed it? Where were you when I needed a ride home in middle school, but instead I had to walk home drenched in a blizzard? 
Where did you disappear to when the rest of the dads threw out the first pitch to their sons on senior night, huh? Where were you when my world would stop turning enough to the point that I would fall on the floor and cry because nobody in the nearest district could understand? And where were you when Karen got sick? When she passed away? Because all I wanted was for my family to be there for me. You know why? Because you're my father. And since then it's been one snarky comment after another. Well, newsflash, Dad. I've done everything I can to make you feel at home here, and just once would it have killed you to say, Thanks, son. I love you. I guess the radio is only a one-way line. Hey, starting to set everything up. Should be five minutes or so. Okay, that's fine. Stand up a sec. Good thing we're only getting your voice. Awfully quiet today. Everything okay? It's nothing, okay. Okay. Hey. I'm sorry. It's just this thing with my dad and the person that he wants to hire. I had an idea of how my life was supposed to be. It'd be starting out with a clean slate, but nothing is turning out the way I thought it would. Life's not perfect, Alex. In fact, it's almost never what you expect it's gonna be. Uh, I know. I just didn't think everything would change this much. Change is inevitable. Adjusting to a new situation is hard. But you have to be grateful for the people and the things you do have around you. Because one day, you might not have them around you anymore. What? That's nothing. Alex, we're ready for you. Go get him. You ready? Uh, yeah. Cool. Hello everyone, I'm your host Trevor Miller and welcome back to Listen Up. Today I'm joined by best-selling author Alex Clearwater. Yeah? Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> um, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. Um, so your bestseller is called Lights Out Alex, that's right. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, well, first of all, I love the book. Oh, thank you. Uh, means a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, well, for our readers who haven't read it yet, why don't you tell us a little bit what it's about? Yeah, uh, sure. Well, uh, Lights Out Alex is pretty much a love letter to my childhood. Um, tells my story of how I grew up and became an adult. Uh, <laughs> well, truthfully, I didn't think it would get much further than that, but I am certainly glad that it has. We are, too. <laughs> um, for those of you who haven't read it yet, do. So Alex, when I first saw your book, I was in the store, and um, one of the things I look for in a new book is a good title. So when I saw yours, I immediately liked it. And then I read the book, and I loved it. Um, without giving too much away, could you tell our listeners why you chose that particular title? Um, uh, of course. Uh, well, my dad was a baseball announcer mm -hmm. when I was growing up, mm -hmm. so... Obviously, with that job, uh, you'd be on the road most of the time. Right. So, unfortunately, we couldn't talk over the phone much. But Lights Out, Alex, was his way of saying goodnight to me uh, over his broadcast after the post-game recap. Wow. That's, that's pretty special. It was certainly nice to hear. 
Okay, so let's get to the phones. Our first caller is Steve from Richmond. Steve, how you doing? Steve? You there, Steve? Well, Steve's dead. Okay. <laughs> our, uh, our next caller is from Shenandoah, Virginia. Uh, what's on your mind, friend? This is Clarence. Hey there, Clarence. Welcome to the show. Hi. I need some advice, Alex. What about? Yeah. Yeah, I believe you. Uh, well, why, why do you think that is? I didn't see that he was trying to start a new life for himself, and I guess I got in the way of that. Well, uh, Clarence, a relationship is a two-way street, so I'm sure your son didn't see that your life was changing too. Maybe we were both in the wrong. Yeah, maybe. Is there, um, is there anything else? Yeah. I'm worried that my son doesn't think that I love him. Maybe you should tell him. I thought I always had. Oh, uh, Clarence. If it eases your mind at all, I'm, uh, I'm sure he knows. And I'm sure that he feels the same way too. Is that all? Yes. Thank you, Alex. My pleasure. Oh, and Alex. Yeah? Lights out. Okay, well, uh, thank you for that call, Clarence. We'll be right back after these messages, but don't go away because uh, we got a lot more to talk about. And we're out. Oh, back in 90 seconds. Hey, do you mind if I uh, run to the restroom real quick? Yeah, do what you need to do. Okay. You working? Um, I actually just finished. That's great, son. Just woke up and found this bag sitting next to me. Yeah. Well, I was wondering. You want to play catch with me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I'd love to. 